Welcome guys, it's Mike Newton back here at Lytham Golf Academy in the studio. I've got a head-to-head -head here with Mizuno this time and it's the JPX 900 Tour Iron and it's going to go against the new MP18 SC Iron, the Split Cavity Iron. Okay, so two quite similar irons for me here and obviously from two different families. Now Mizuno have gone down the route and for me this is a good thing. They've simplified the ranges a little bit now. They've gone the JPX family and then obviously got the MP18 family. So two clean sort of families in a way. Um, whereas before I always thought there's a lot of irons, a lot of options, they all sort of crisscross. It's very difficult I found for the consumer to to really um, work out what was right and what, what irons sort of suited them really. So two simple families, JPX and the MP18. So in the JPX we've got the 900 Tor, which is the smaller, more compact, uh, model of the JPX family so um, it's, it's always been a bit of a strange one this for me because it is uh, the look of it and the size of it I would always put in, into the MP uh, sort of family here but obviously they put the JPX name onto this it's a very small cavity in there it's a forged head it's that sort of um, satin sort of blasted satin finish which I quite like uh, it's not the traditional finish but it's quite a nice sort of finish there uh, obviously MP18 SC, so this is a split cavity, this is the middle one of the MP18 um, range, so obviously got the blade, they've got the SC and then the MMC, and of course they've also got the fly high as well, and the longer irons. So I'm going to put these head to head, now these are both 6 irons, they're both 30 degrees of loft, okay, I've got the same shaft. Um, which I'm going to put in both of them, so these are off our fitting uh, carts. Now these both have the yellow graphics on the back here, so I do get quite a lot of comments when I do Mizuno um, sort of comparisons, why is it yellow, I don't like the yellow, well that's just the, because it's on the fitting cart, these would always be white if you were to purchase them, so ignore the yellow right, and that's just for the fitting cart purposes. Okay, so let's uh, let's get underway. I've got GC2 HMT set up here. So we're going to hit both of each. We're going to look at some numbers, some ball speeds, and also give you some feedback on looks and feel that I personally sort of see between these two irons. Right, okay, so we're going to start off with the JPX 900 Tor to begin with. A little batch of shots with this, and then we'll move on to the MP80. Now, I've done a review of this quite a long time ago when they first came out on my channel. Um, it's a nice looking golf club this. You know, as I say, the finish isn't polished. It's that sort of blasted satin sort of finish. A little bit of a speckle in it, which is quite nice. I quite like that. Um, and it's a really clean look. It's a very little offset there. Maybe sort of medium to thin sort of top line here. And, you know, it does look very pretty behind the golf ball. As you'd expect from a Mizuno, you know, there's not really many ugly... Uh, or not nice looking Mizuno irons. We'll go with this first one here. Yeah, it's a good solid strike. It's a nice high ball flight. Feels lovely, feels soft. Just as you'd probably expect from a Mizuno, Mizuno iron here. Yeah, that's good. Feels really really solid very sort of soft get that feedback through the head that's carrying at 181 ball speed about 127 spinning around that 6000 sort of mark so very typical sort of numbers i'd expect um or very sort of just neutral numbers you would expect from this type of iron you know it's not you're not going to see that low spin you're not going to see that loads of distance this is more into that player's iron sort of category where it's looking a little bit more consistent on spin and a little bit more control, feedback through feel also. Yeah, it's another good strike, feels great. Love the feel of that. I could quite easily play that myself. It looks great to my eyes. Uh, I quite like that finish on it, it's a little bit different, but I, I like it, it feels beautiful, it looks to be sort of, give me some good sort of numbers there. Um, probably what I would say with the JPX Tour is it's, it's a very sort of slim uh, sole here, now obviously the thinner of the three models in the JPX family, you're going to expect that slimmer sort of sole here. It'll be interesting to see, let me just get it up against the MP18 SC, yeah it's probably... I don't know if it's just because it's a polished finish, it might just make that look a little bit bigger there, but possibly the SC is slightly, slightly wider, but we're talking like literally millimetres there. 
Um, but just, you know, it's obviously a very slim sole here, which is going to help with that, that sort of movability of the club head sort of coming through the turf, and, you know, maybe that less, less drag coming through the turf as, as you're striking it. Right, so we'll hit one more with the 900 tall. Try and finish on a good one. Okay, now that was probably slightly toe. It's pretty good to be fair. Just slightly toe contact, so probably just, yeah, 175. Just dropped a fraction there. 126 balls. It wasn't too bad a drop off from ball speed there, but I mean, it wasn't a million miles away from middle. It just felt a fraction of toe. But again, I think these sort of irons is where you're going to feel those slight differences of strike. Obviously, if you put me into a game improvement iron, a big cavity, big head, you are probably hard to feel those little miss hits there, which for some guys is great, but I think for me, I want to know where I'm hitting it on the club face. And I think with these types of irons, these more sort of players' irons, you can just feel those slight, subtle differences of where you're hitting it on the club face. Okay, so let's switch over to the MP18 SCI and we'll hit back shots with that. Right, okay, so now I've got the MP18 SC in our, in our hands here. So, very, very different finish here, obviously. We've got this sort of more classic, sort of polished, sort of finish around uh, around the head here. Obviously, the groove section is that uh, blasted finish there, which you always generally uh, sort of see. Um, Show you ways to put that down by the golf ball. It's just an ever so slightly thicker top edge, literally just slightly. Again, very little offset there, and but again, just sits really, really beautiful you know it's, there's not many horrible lines there it's all very sort of rounded it just flows really nicely through the head and probably for me personally i probably prefer that little bit of a chromed finish you know just gives it that little bit of a classier maybe look maybe feel to it okay so again this is 30 degrees of loft so it's the same loft same shaft same makeup uh let's give this one a hit Okay, again, good strike there, really solid hitting that green, um, you know, it feels great, it's a forge club again, you know, Mizuno very much go on this sort of grain flow forging that they sort of offer, and I think in the, on the MP18s they've actually tightened that grain flow a little bit more, so superior sort of strength in the, in the head, but also feel against maybe the JPX uh, offering. But to me, I, I'm not going to feel that. That feels as good as the JPX there, uh, feel-wise. Right, okay, that was a tiny bit low in the face there. On target, a little bit low in the face, so wasn't the best of strikes there. 180, nah, that's gone out quite, maybe because I've cut out a little bit thin. Yeah, the spin's dropped off a bit there. That was 5,300 the spin, which is probably where that extra little bit distance has come from there. So that probably just, again, goes to show strike will change spin number around quite a lot. You know, that's dropped probably a good seven or six, 600 revs less there purely because of strike um, on the club face there. Nice, nice solid shot, right on target, get it, Oof. right brilliant, that felt lovely, okay, so you know, it, it's, it, you know, I think between those two irons there, there's definitely a difference of look, that's the first big thing really, actual feel of the club face, very very similar, I'm not feeling a huge amount, one doesn't feel harder than the other, the sound is very, very similar to you expect. Forgiveness-wise, maybe tough to sort of uh, exactly sort of measure here, but I'm, I'm probably guessing I'm saying that the MP18 slightly deeper cavity there than the than the JPX Toss, and, and there's a slightly thicker sole here, so a little bit more weight at the bottom. Probably just provides that little bit more forgiveness there, but again, it, it, it's it's hard to really sort of test that to be honest. Feels lovely. Feels great. It's, it's, can't complain. I just pushed that a little bit there, but the strike was good. Feel was good. 
yeah, carrying 180 sort of two there. Okay, so I'm going to be quite interested to look at these numbers now. I know I did catch one with this a tiny bit low in the face. So that might just throw the numbers out slightly. The JPX 900 are struck pretty well out of all four of those shots. So, but let's have a look at some numbers and see if there's any real big differences between those two heads. Right, so let's look at some numbers here. So club head speed, identical here. Ball speed, mm, half a mile an hour quicker on average with the MP18. Nothing a lot in that, to be honest, to start worrying about. Launch angle, pretty much the same on average. Side spin, pretty identical. Back spin, a little bit of a difference here. Now, also with that second one here, we know that was a slightly thin one, which has dragged that down a little bit. A couple of slightly lower ones there. So, but I mean, you've got to look at it as an average. So, 5, 7 against 6, 3 there. So... MP18 just spin a little bit less on this particular test. Uh, peak height of touch high with um, MP18 against JPX. Distance wise, four yards in it. Again, that second one got out there because that spin number dropped off. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to delete that one because I know that was the worst strike out of all the shots we've hit there. So I'll get that one out of the equation. Um, and I know we should always put all strikes in there, really. But so, very, very similar, very similar. Just got up slightly. So, yep, still spin a little bit lower there. 180 against 178. Very little in it distance-wise. Spin number-wise might just edge it a little bit, possibly, for you. Ball speed's nothing in it. You know, launch angle's exactly the same. Right, guys. So, there we have it. Uh, MP18SC against the JPX 900 Tour. As I probably thought, there's not going to be a lot in between it. You know, they're both the same lofts here. Very similar on the, on the on the head shape here. Possibly SC is just slightly deep on that cavity. Probably be giving that little bit more forgiveness there. But really, probably two irons that you guys might be looking at and thinking, well, which one is right for me? You know, I think they're both hitting that similar type of golfer here. But you've got two that two irons that look very different behind the golf ball because of the way the colouring, and obviously the chrome finish against this blasted finish. Little bit maybe need to look on that top edge with the 900 tour, um, but you know, obviously, both forged irons, so there's a little bit of a crossover here between these two irons. So, again, this is where you guys might be thinking, well, which is right for me? I mean, obviously, again, you've got to go out there and test these yourself. Now, under that particular test, there for me, and remember, this is my numbers, this isn't your numbers, this is my numbers, then I would probably say on looks, MP18 would edge it just. Um, on performance, not a lot in it here, but I'll probably go JPX 900 pure because I like that little bit more spin there, um, which will give me a little bit more control coming into the green. Okay, so if I had to put my head on the line here in terms of, or head on the block, I should say, in terms of which one I would choose, I'd probably, it's a tough one. I'd, I'd probably go 900, but literally tough, tough call there because I don't mind the look of that at all with that blasted finish. The shape of it's beautiful. Both feel great. Okay, right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Do comment down below um, and maybe make any suggestions of any other videos that you want me to try and do. I'm going to try and get as many. I've got a lot of comments here on my channel of, of, of doing lots of videos, but obviously my time's a little bit restricted through coaching and fitting here at the academy, so um, I'll try and get through as many as I can. Um, but, you know, give me a thumbs up. Do hit that subscribe button, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.